How do we deal with sound absorption for low frequencies? In yesterday's video I talked about sound absorption for porous absorbers and they are great for higher frequencies. So let's take a look at what it can behave like. So we have basically, we could say we have two, two primary types of sound absorbers. The first one is porous absorbers, which are very good for high frequencies. And you can see in this graph that as the thickness of the porous absorber is increased, it's, uh, the frequency range in where it's effective also increases. So the lower in frequency you want to go, the thicker absorber you're going to need. However, this will have some practical consequences, which means that you, you cannot reasonably use like one meter thick layer of mineral wool. That's, uh, that's not practical or economical. In. And then there's this other type, resonance absorbers. And they are good for low frequencies. And here are two examples, a panel absorber and a Helmholtz resonator. So if you imagine a panel absorber where you have an air volume that is encapsulated behind a, a wooden plate, for instance, if you go there and you thump your hand, boom, 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 against it, like a lightweight wall you could do this with, and you do, do, do with your palm like that, and you're gonna hear it's like a bass thump there. And that's the resonance frequency of this wall construction. And, and that construction will serve as an absorber around that, those frequencies that you hear when you bang a little on it. And by, by changing the air gap, the thickness of the panel, and you can change all these parameters and, on how it's designed and, and create and uh, adapt it so you get like a custom made absorber for some specific frequency range that you wanna, that you wanna get to. Now the other one is a Helmholtz resonator. And here I have a picture of a uh, Coca-Cola bottle. You know when you, I don't, I don't have any bottle right here now, but when you blow a bottle you know you get the tone. And uh, that bottle is actually going to be an excellent sound absorber at that specific frequency that you can hear when you blow in it. I've even seen some laboratory measurements when they, when they did uh, like uh, a thousand Coca-Cola bottles in a big <laughs> sea of Coca-Cola bottles in the laboratory. And, and you could get a very, very strong sound absorption for that specific coca-cola tone that you get when you blow in them so um, if if we should just do a little quick sketch on this one so if we would do a comparison for these two you have alpha sound absorption coefficient on the y-axis and then you have the frequency on the x-axis then we could say that you have the porous absorber in this is just a principle they're excellent for high frequencies and then they die out for the lower frequencies. And the, the thicker they, that you make them, the lower down you can go. But a uh, resonant, resonance absorber, like a panel absorber or a Helmholtz resonator, they would more behave something like, like uh, perhaps uh, this instead. And now you see here, it's my my dog is making some funny sounds back here. So if you could do like a combination of these two types of absorbers and and then you could adapt so you get an even frequency response in, in your room depending on what the supposed usage of your room and what you're going to do in there. And uh, you could also create like a combination of a panel absorber and a porous absorber. Let's say that you, for instance, if you, if you would mount... Uh, what is called slat panel with like slat or slits. I, I don't know the, the English words, but when, when you put, let's draw it instead. Let's say that you put, uh, you have a, a wall like this, and then you have mineral wall, and then you would put wood like this. So then, then you get like a combination of, of these two and an absorber like that one, the third one, let's paint it in, it, it in blue. Uh, you could get a, a more even frequency response. Oh wait, maybe it's better for the lower frequencies. Yeah, I'm not sure. It would be better to do some calculations on it. But yeah, I hope you get the point here that there are, there are several ways of doing this and you have to combine them to get an optimal type of absorption for what you intend to do with your room. So that's today's Q&A. How do we deal with sound absorption for low frequencies? And in today's video, I want to show you a little thing about contrast because I'm wearing a green, a green jacket, one of my absolute favorites, this one. And uh, then I combine it with 
with green pants as well. And this is, uh, can be a bit risky. If you use the same color, it should be enough contrast. And I think with this one, I can get away with it because this green and this green, they're separate enough so that you can perceive it as, as two different, different entities. If you would have green pants that are very close to this one, but it's not a perfect match, then it's, it's not going to look good. So that, that's why when you wear a suit, a full suit, it needs to be the same fabric. So you have the exact same color on the pants and the jacket. Or you separate them enough so you achieve contrast. And if you go for another color, let's say if I take like blue pants or brown pants, it would be easy because then the, the contrast is, is large. But you can also do it with light blue, dark blue, navy blue, like that. But if you take two pieces that are both navy blue and you put them next to each other and, and that there's a mismatch, it's not going to look that good. That, that would be, let's, if we do an acoustic analogy to that, that would be like a beating frequency. You know when you tune your guitar and you, you put one open string and you take the fifth fret on the next string and then you boom and then you tune it and then you get like whoa, 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 and then when you get, when you get it right, just right, the wobbling disappears. And, uh, and that, that's when you have the same color. I, I would do that analogy. But when you have like a slight color difference with navy blue jacket and almost navy blue pants, then you would end up like a whoa, 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 with this detuned guitar. So that's, uh, that was a good analogy. Very improvised. I have never thought about it that way before. So have a nice evening and I'll see you guys later.